to tell you right now is a complete lie don't believe a word of it this is all speculation and don't take it as true if that's your choice okay there's the disclaimer now let's go into it this is the truth behind the beef between Jay-Z and Brian Pumper the porn star because people in the world wouldn't even know who Brian Pumper was and so they saw world star hip hop one day and saw that he's dissing Jay Z or Vlad TV and they're sitting down doing an interview with this guy and people are like who in the world is this this guy Brian Pumper is a porn star that works out of California and he built a name for himself of being like the the bodybuilding porn guy and he's went into like directing and producing his own movies so he's actually went behind the camera and started making a career for himself that way so he can get more of the profits and he was, you know, hailed as like a good producer. He's got a name for himself. Was doing quite well. And he decided in 2009 that, hmm, I got an idea so I can, you know, create new revenue streams. I should go into rap. Rap music is where it's at. That's why I can come in and make some money. And then I can get out and do my own thing with the rap and just bridge that into other stuff. Half these rappers already sleeping with porn stars. I get them to be on my album, get some porn stars to be in the video. We on. So he's thinking people are not going to think I'm serious once I get in the game. How can I get into this rap game and the person he tried to emulate is 50 Cent he's got the chains like 50 he's all buff got the muscles the shirt he got the baseball cap on and he's gonna ride the 50 wave all the way through so he come out Dissing Rick Ross on a song. Yo, Rick Ross, this, this. Talking about Rick Ross and how 50 Cent is this. And all his rap really was weak. And he's talking about basically just being a porn star. But he's putting his own money in it, his own studio time. And you can tell it's low budget. <laughs> so. That's another thing. If you're going to do something like that, and you ain't got the bread to fight, and you're trying to get in the game, I understand, but you're going to end up stepping on some toes, and you got to be willing to accept the blows. Now, he knows Rick Ross has a relationship with a couple of these companies. You know, they, the agencies, you know, they provide them women and all this stuff. So, most of these women are in the porn and and uh, escort business so you know naturally they're not happy with what Mr. Pumper is trying to do he signed himself with, with 50 thinking this is going to get 50's attention so he goes a step further <coughs> and says I got a new song called She Ain't Satisfied it's a Jay Z diss and everybody what and he starts talking about how Jay can't do this in the bed, he's weak and like Beyonce isn't satisfied and this was the biggest mistake Papa ever made 
If you're coming into the business, you don't. Don't. <laughs> try to take shots at the head of the business. I mean, Jay at that time is like one of the heads of the business. With connections, and this is the former president of Def Jam you're talking about. And he has one of the number one female artists of all time. Beyonce, you talking about she ain't satisfied. You're connecting her name, her brand, which she built next to him that he helped build. And you're attaching it to porn. Because when you put Brian Pumper name and Beyonce's name, that doesn't even, shouldn't even be in the same sentence. So I understand why Jay was lit the way he was and was very upset with this whole Brian Pumper thing. Because it was all over social media and for that little period of time and... Once this guy went as far as to make a video about the song, Jay was getting ready to, to form legal action against him. They had to take the flag, I mean, World Star had to take it down. Uh, nobody else could show that video again. He was completely damaged. Jay Z was never going to mention him. He wanted no one to ever bring up that guy's name to him. He's not serious at all as a rap artist or anything for them to bring his name up. But the disrespect level he used coming into the game, Jay was going to screw up his other career. Big time. Uh, calls were made and actions were taken to make sure that this guy runs into problems at every turn. And Evil Angel situation, they were looking for a reason to get rid of them because they had a lot of pressure being put on them by other people in the industry. Money was paid so people wouldn't work with him. He was put on a uh, do not want to work with list by other producers because the girls said that they didn't want to work with him all of a sudden. A lot of pool was put, put into this. A lot of calls were made. Next thing you know, he was looking for 50 Cent to try to bail him out. He runs into 50 at uh, some event in New York. He came out there like, yo, just Brian Pumper, I know you saw my thing. And he laid out his plans for 50 and tried to tell him about, I'm going to put out a book deal. They try to tell guys all about sex and, you know, how to stay up and all this. 50 wasn't interested because 50 already knew what was going on. And was aware of it and was like, I don't want no part of it because he already know Jay is is hot, you know, over this Beyonce thing, you know, and mentioning his name and her name and the, you know, the, no, it's the way he came in the game it was so disrespectful. Even if it's just to get on, that makes it even worse. You know, it's just like no, no one still bought that to take you serious. And Fifty saw that and he's like a. Basically, if he signed him or co-signed him, Gene and sign him, it ends their credibility. Sign a, signing a Brian Pumper. So not all money was good money to him as he tried to sell 50. Like, dude, you're going to make your money back. You know, you with all the porn stars anyway. So, you know, you, you know the game. 50 just wasn't interested. And I remember we were in uh, Vegas and that crazy, crazy one stripper who was, uh, I thought she was, I'm sorry, let me take that back, porn star. <laughs> who, I don't, I guess she was a porn star in the 1960s or something, I don't know. Her name was Sarah J. She kind of looks like that lady that's on the mom TV show. Like, the girl that plays the mom on the mom TV show that come on CBS she kind of looks like her if that lady was doing like coke crack and, and crystal meth all at once that's exactly what she looks like and I mean just 
the attitude is like even her terminology and language is like from 1960 like okay let's get out of who's next <laughs> I'm like who would want that thing but shockingly enough brothers will sit with anything I ain't gonna put names out there but I'm like, dude, you have so millions of records. And you have been in videos with some of the baddest women alive. And this is what you want to come home to? Or in the night with? I call the agency and say, I got jet. But to each its own. And if I do have the wrong person, I'm sorry. But I think that was her name. Because somebody, I believe, told me that was her name. So if I got the wrong one, I'm terribly sorry. I, I think I'm pretty consistent with that. If I'm looking at a picture, it was like Halloween. There was so much makeup on her face. That it looked like she was wearing a mask, like a hockey mask. Like her face is just going to fall straight to the floor. And the makeup, she still looked like Count Dracula's grandfather. The most hideous thing I've seen. Like she had just smoked and drank the thing. The coffee, the teeth looked like, oh my god. I think it was like a movie or something character or something about witches. Might be the witches of each week or something. She could have fit right in. It was brutal to look at. Mm. Oof. I'm getting just chills thinking about it. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, Jay Z and Pump. So anyway, I'm sorry I went off topic. That image came in my head and I just couldn't shake it. <laughs> but uh, Jay Z and Pumper was uh, at the 50 turned them down. Everybody in the rap business turned a, turned a deaf ear to him and just like, no. So he's basically on his own. He don't have the finances to deal with going against the power of somebody like Jay Z. They could crush you. So, after the end of the year, it's all these women saying that these rumors, he had STDs messing with uh, gay dudes. They're ruining his name, running him in the dirt. Then in 2013, he made a mistake, and they fired him immediately. I mean, like, immediately. Like, I think it was 2012. One of them, but... They fire him immediately. Like almost like as soon as the incident happened. He said, Oh, my fault won't happen again. Don't matter. You're out of here. But everybody else could stay. Brian Pumper gotta go. So Pumper's been doing good on his own, you know, I guess he's a good producer. So he's making his good success and everything's going along, but he's wondering like, what did I do to get all this heat? Oh, you should know. And if you don't know, then you're very naive to the business. <laughs> to know what you've done. You put a very famous name and attached it to porn. Mm. Not a good thing. Nobody wants to type in Beyonce's name or Jay-Z's name and then a, it's just porn star, Brian Pumper and all this stuff. So that wasn't going to sit well, so actions had to be taken. Now, Pumper's doing okay. He's great. As long as he stay out of the lane of even mentioning Jay-Z's name again, he'll be okay. Because uh, either that or the papers that they have served him will come in useful because he's not allowed to even say Jay-Z's name anymore. From what I've been told, Jay-Z or Beyonce, or he, he will be sued <laughs> for a slander and they will take him to court and bleed him 
completely dry. So, that's that. I'm out.